Good day, everybody. It is Christy Ann Miranda from OK Keto. So today is Monday, and Mondays around here means Meaty Monday. Meaty Monday or Animal Source Food. And Miranda is participating with me today because I practically do it anyways. She practically does it anyways, and she is still working from home, like I'm sure most of you are. And uh, yeah, so we thought we would do it together today. I don't think we're going to eat the same exact thing, so we will show you what we both eat for today and yeah I will also put down in the description box below all the wonderful channels that are participating in this so you can go and check them out see what they are having that's how we get some ideas sometimes and yeah I'm finally uh, starting the fasting we, we have we've started the fasting we've had coffee and then we're we're eating about we start making our meals about noon so we eat probably about 12 30 and then our last meal we have we started about 6, and so we probably eat it about 6.30. Yeah, I'm finally starting it because mm -hmm. I just recently finished moving, and, like, admittedly, I was not on schedule when I was doing that, so now I'm finally on it. I did only eat, like, twice, but it was not intermittent. Yeah, I wasn't exactly on Yeah, time. I Because I, I you were always... Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention at the time. And like before I know it, it's like three o'clock and I'm like, I was supposed to eat at noon. And um, if you've seen the weigh-in video for my husband on Saturday, the mic drop, I mentioned that I went up like a total, I knew I was going to go up three pounds the week before and I did. And then I went up an additional seven pounds. Well, there were some things to that. Um, we did have a lot of keto treats that we were trying yes, we for did. the video. Um, I did mention in one of those videos that nuts caused me inflammation and I knew the scale would go up and that's what happened plus menstrual cycle. Now the last couple of days the scale has been going down so that's good that means the inflammation is leaving my body along with my visitor and uh, so the scale has now done a, a big decline. I will let you know Saturday how much if I went back to what I was but I got up this morning and it's raining here today and we're not leaving our house and it's kind of chilly and dreary. Um, so I didn't, I don't care what I look like today to be honest with you. So I put my husband's shirt on. I love this shirt. I've actually stolen it from him and it's always in my drawer now. Um, he's had it for like 20 years and I love it. So I threw this on and then I got into my short drawer. Now, um, I have not taken these shorts out since last summer. And they used to be my dress shorts. It was always my shorts I would go to they to put on. They always fit her curves. Yeah, they would, it, they would hug me nicely in their dressy shorts. And I would wear nice sandals with them and a nice blouse whenever I was going somewhere nice in the summertime. Again, I have not put them on since probably about August or September. Um, anyways, I got them out today. I'm going to show you what they look like. This is why I say don't go totally off of what the scale says. How do you feel and how are your clothes fitting? So I have lost a little bit of weight since last summer. Um, probably about an additional 10 pounds since last summer. Okay, now keep in mind I was at one time in my life 322 pounds. Uh, so I have been doing keto for uh, 15, 16 months now. So. Um, what I'm about to show you is kind of funny. I'm going to back up so hopefully so you can all the see. way back so they can see it all. Yeah. Um, <laughs> they are size 12 and they are now huge. These shorts you zip and button <laughs> and I can just pull them on and off now. And the legs are massive. I kind of look like a bum now. But these used to fit me pretty tight. Like they would snug me perfectly and they, like I said, they're the material that they're like dress shorts. And you could all, you, you could see the little bit of the tummy. Yeah, my, my little muck skin, because I do still have a lot of excess skin that I have not have removed and I actually plan on never having removed. But it, you know, it was more puffed out right here and you can see like a muffin top and everything. Now it's like, I really do need a belt to wear these. I actually, when I take them off and wash them, I'm gonna put them in my donation bag, but 
Yeah, um, you can't wear those outside because of the way no. they're fitting. No, I keep having to hold them up as I'm walking through my house. But like I said, I'm not going anywhere today, and I could care less. But I love that they were falling off of me and that they were so baggy because, you know, 10 pounds doesn't sound like a lot when you, you know, talk about the scale. But when you put on your clothes and they're falling off like this, that's like an awesome non-scale victory. That's actually, even better than any number on the scale, to be honest with you. I actually have a trick for that. If you ever get disappointed, you only lost like one pound, go on Pinterest and type in like what it looks like. Because right. they, there's this set of pictures where it's one pound, five pounds, and 20 pounds. And you can see what you're losing and it helps me so much if I'm like feeling bad if I go down half a pound I'm like okay I still lost half of that so winning yeah and her stomach has really been getting flat like terms of the side would probably be easier and Miranda was Miranda's only five foot three I'm five foot eight um and she was 220 pounds yeah. So her stomach has really gotten flat. Her clothes, I can tell, are fitting her better and everything. So if you're feeling better, your clothes are fitting better or getting way too big, <laughs> please pay more attention to that than what the scale has to say because... Yeah, I haven't been on the scale today, but I'm sure I'm down. Yeah, and I, I know I'm down. Uh, Especially since yesterday, I did a lot of heavy lifting. And I have been getting on the scale just because I also wanted to make sure that the inflammation was starting to leave my body because unfortunately, no matter how much I love nuts, they do not love me. And every time I eat any, it goes up like three or four pounds yeah, for that. three or four days. So anyways, we are gonna show you what we eat today. Like I said, it might not be the same exact thing, uh, but it will be animal source food. And if you are interested in interested in seeing that stick around it'll happen it's gonna be a good one bye okay this is miranda's first meal so miranda tell us what you have steak with um butter salt pepper and then eggs oh and a little bit of worcestershire for flavor and then eggs with uh they're just uh what is that over easy mm -hmm. with uh cheese and a little bit of tabasco what kind of cheese? Cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. And the steak is a sirloin steak, right? Yep. Cut up. Okay, this is Miranda's first meal. You will see mine once it's complete. Okay, so for my first meal, I have four turkey sausage patties with a slice of Munster cheese that I divided up amongst the four and melted on top. And I have two poached eggs. And we will see you when we go to have dinner. Okay, so for my dinner, I'm having a sirloin beef patty. It's a 85-15, uh, one-third pound burger with a slice of reduced fat Swiss cheese melted on top, three slices of Canadian bacon, and two servings of pork rinds. And now on to Miranda's. Okay, now on to Miranda's dinner. Miranda, please explain to us what you have. We have a sirloin steak sliced up and seasoned with taco seasoning with mild cheddar cheese on top and sour cream. Looks really good. I know, right? All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. We hope you had a wonderful day, and this will conclude our Meaty Monday. See you next time. Bye. Bye.